Barack Obama's visit to Britain ahead of the 2016 EU referendum helped the Vote Leave camp swing the vote in their favor, Lord David Owen told Express, two months before the Brexit referendum, former US President Barack Obama visited London. Speaking in a press conference alongside former Prime Minister David Cameron, Mr. Obama warned Britons that a trade deal with the US would have not been a priority if the country left the EU. Mr. Obama said, the UK is going to be at the back of the queue. At the time, his remarks were furiously rejected by Brexiteers, who suspected Mr. Cameron's government to be the mastermind behind them. They pointed to the president's choice of the word Q, rather than the American usage of line, as evidence of British involvement in scripting Mr. Obama's comment. One of the people who reacted with fury to the comments was Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who at the time was still mayor of London and leading the Vote Leave campaign. Mr. Johnson claimed it was ridiculous for Britain to be bullied like that, according to Vote Leave insider Lord David Owen that moment was crucial to winning the Brexit referendum. Dot, dot. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk last year, the former Foreign Secretary and SDP co-founder said, I was quite convinced we would win the referendum after Barack Obama's visit. That was the only moment when the opinion polls really changed. There was an argument whether there was a 3 or 5% shift in favor of coming out, from that moment on we were even Stephen. Lord Owen noted, Boris made it. If I had been the leader of the campaign I would have made a speech against other leaders interfering with our domestic policies. Instead, he was furious. Boris scoffed at Obama. And that worked. It was later revealed that Brexit campaigners were right to question Mr. Obama's comments. In 2018, Ben Rhodes, an ex-White House advisor, admitted then Prime Minister David Cameron personally asked Mr. Obama to be pessimistic about a trade deal in April 2016. Mr. Rhodes told BBC Radio 5 Lives and Foster, we had come here to try to help the Remain campaign and we had a meeting with David Cameron and his team.